Okay, so before we start our exploration, I thought I'd make a video on this, do something a little bit different. I've had a lot of requests for this. People want to know what basic prospecting tools you should have. And, sorry, got distracted by a rock. Uh, what I carry in my vest. So, let's head over to my truck and I will show you. Okay, so this is one of my vests. This is the one I usually wear in the winter time because it's a lot warmer. The one he's wearing right now is the one I'm currently wearing because it breathes a lot better and is a lot more comfortable in the summertime. So these are the tools that I personally carry in my vest, all these tools here. So we'll go through each individual one and I'll tell you what it's for. Okay, so first off, everyone carries different things for different needs. These are the tools that I personally use the most. Depending on the exploration program we're doing, we might have something different or added. These are just the ones that I hold in my vest. This is a handy shovel, but this is my prospecting partner, so we'll get that out of there. Always keep an emergency blanket. They're good for multiple things. Flashlight. This is also a headlamp. Perfect for going in mines, going in dark spots. Sometimes we stay out till 8, 9 at night in the wintertime in places that we're familiar with. So always good to have a flashlight. One of the most important tools a prospector can use, jeweler's loop. We have a couple here. I always tend to lose these, so perfect to bring a second. Uh, I have the 30 times magnification. I also have the 10 times magnification. Next thing, sample bags. You can never be short on sample bags. Got about 100 here. Usually I'm bringing... 300 um, sometimes you go through that many samples usually not when you're by yourself because that's a lot to carry but always bring a couple sizes over here we got some larger ones here so the next thing is marking tape or flagging tape we have three colors uh, this one right here is for marking certain things. When we're finding a sample, uh, when we're sampling multiple outcrops along a huge stretch of logging road, what we'll do is we'll mark everything, we'll tag everything, and we'll do the whole stretch of road at once, mark everything off, and we'll wrap our samples like this so we don't lose them. We'll write the tag on them and we'll leave them in place and then afterwards we'll come by with a truck and we'll record everything, GPS, and pick up all our samples. Then we can put them in a sample bag like this, label them. So if we're just walking through the bushes, we're not going to leave the sample there because you're not going to find it. You're going to take it with you. So next thing, always handy to have a Leatherman or some kind of multi-tool, pliers, knife, anything. Uh, these are perfect for picking up little gold nuggets or whatever, but we always have one of these with us. So the next thing is glow sticks. These are also handy for winter prospecting. You're trying to mark trails. Uh, you think you're going to be late coming back, crack a glow stick, hang it in a tree, and you've marked your path back. We always recommend doing this at night. We've gotten lost before. We always GPS as well. So the next thing is gloves. Everyone needs a pair of gloves. When you're going through the bush, you don't want to get your hands cut up when you're handling rocks. 
especially when you're handling sulfides, stuff like arsenopyrite, you just don't want to do it without gloves. We do have disposable gloves we do bring um, if we know we're in an area that has lots of uh, toxic chemicals and minerals. Uh, but these are the standard ones we use. Next thing, rock hammer. This is actually a mason's hammer, but we prefer these over the geological hammer. We do have them, but we tend to use these because they work a lot better for us. Acid. Hydrochloric acid used for testing. Stannous chloride also used for testing uh, for presence of gold. Next thing here. This is a laser measuring tool. Doesn't work too well during the day, but it works at night. And it also works for mapping out mines. This one has a 165 foot range. Uh, really good for mapping out mines. Taking a tape measure and measuring every 25 feet is just not uh, gonna cut it. So you want the tools that are gonna work for the situation. Metal scoop. Our plastic one broke, so this is why we have the metal one. Works well. It's made of aluminum, super light. Magnet, obviously for testing for presence of magnetic rocks. This isn't really a prospecting tool, but this is for keeping us warm in the winter time. When you have a lunch break, you want to start a fire. Sampling bottles, little vials for keeping gold, keeping small samples. Next thing here, don't always need this, but sometimes it's handy when you uh, are trying to find strike and dip of a vein. This is just a level, uh, tells you the angle, degrees. Also a magnet, that's primarily what I use it for is, again, test the pre presence of magnetic stuff. Then we have markers, permanent markers for marking out your sample bags, taking notes, whatever it may be, regular pen, these are vital. I won't show you what's in there because we're actually working on a property right now that has all our GPS coordinates, but um, waterproof. Can't go wrong with these. Paint marker for marking rocks, marking sample bags. Perfect for taking photos, measuring vein widths. Again, another magnet. This one is actually given to us by Alan at PlasterTools.com. Crevicing tool. Can't go wrong with this. So this is another thing. Uh, this is actually just a new temporary one. Uh, we have a Brunton compass with a clinometer. Uh, this is for measuring the dip, strike, and dip direction of a vein or a plane or some kind of rock face. So this one was about uh, 80 bucks. One we usually use is closer to about 400 and it's a lot nicer but the other one got smashed so this is our temporary one got a nice lanyard with measurements so one more thing here we use GPS we got three of these this is our field GPS super basic super simple really cheap uh, this is about $280 now. Um, 
I could get a better one, but this is the one I'm used to. This is the one I like, and it's fairly reliable, except for when I drop it and it smashes. So we got three of these. We might as well put them to use. Always bring spare batteries. So the next thing, these are sample tags here. These are small ones for fitting in the small sample bags. Bigger ones for bigger sample bags. Little zip ties and nails. So what we tend to do is you'll take one of these nails, hammer it through here into the outcrop where you took your sample, label it, use it for pictures, whatever. So you wanna get uh, stainless screws or nails for sure. Snuffer bottle. Always need one for panning. Spare batteries. Bring a couple sets of these for GPS. Bear spray. We all have this. So you have bear bangers, bear flares, and just regular flares. We all have this as well. These are the sample bags. First aid kit. So this is my custom first aid kit. Uh, we just took out all the medications we have in here because I'll probably get banned on YouTube if we show them. Stereo strips, band-aids, first aids, dressings, knife, sutures, tourniquet. Just random uh, medical stuff and then pulse oximeter. You never know when you're gonna need that. Scissors. So that's the first aid kit. So Benadryl, Tylenol, Aspirin. Definitely recommend bringing those. EpiPen if you have an allergic reaction. Uh, we got uh, quite a bit of stuff in ours. So this is the one I personally carry. We have one in our truck as well. One of the things we always bring, lots of water, lots of snacks. Never know how long you're gonna be out there for. Wet wipes, never know what you're gonna need those for. And more waterproof notebook. And this is the last thing that we bring. So in British Columbia, to enter a property uh, you have to submit a landowner notification within eight days of actually prospecting. So we always bring a couple of these just in case. Usually we do all the research beforehand and they'll be sent these. We'll look up their PID, their property address and contact them. Uh, these are mainly for if we come across someone's property which we need to cross to get to a claim or there's something on their property that we think might have minerals or potential. Um, and then this is just a list of question and answers for the homeowner. Always bring a copy of the Mineral Tenure Act and just some uh, access information for homeowners. And then, of course, business cards. That is the last thing that we bring. So, there's one last thing that we forgot, which we always bring with us. We've always got a gold pan in our hand when we're hiking or strapped to our backs. New gold pan that we've been using fits perfectly in our vest. So we've been tending to bring this one along. You can see it fits perfectly in there. Not too much weight. So that's what we bring in our vests. Those are the basic prospecting tools. Obviously, if we're doing more detailed stuff, we'd bring more detailed stuff for our exploration. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully, you guys learned something. And I know I learned something. I carry a lot of stuff.